Well, so we, we already know that the country is divided into two halves, and I don't think Stephen Colbert on his own does any, any more effort in dividing the country. We, we're already divided. Uh, I, I think the line is drawn when they start to lose ratings. I suspect... Bill Whittle, that they're not going to lose any ratings because I think it's the other half that is watching the Colbert show. It certainly isn't me at night. And so I take all this with a grain of salt. I know that there are so many that are just flabbergasted, so upset about it. I look at it and, and, I, and I almost chuckle at just how angry the man is that we can have that much of an effect or Donald Trump can have that much of an effect on him. And I go about my business for the rest of the day. I've heard comedians making fun of George Bush, not so much Obama, but certainly a lot about George Bush, and I never heard anything like this on broadcast television, not even close to this. Um, Steve Colbert has his own show, and you're right about the ratings, it's gonna, and, and this is what's going to happen with all of the broadcast networks as they continue to die. They're going to appeal to smaller and smaller percentages of the population, so since they're going to a smaller and smaller slice of the pie all the time, Grant, a more and more radical slice of the pie, they have to be more and more radical to keep them happy. It's like watching a, it's like watching a heroin addict up his dosage all the time, you know? And, and this is what's going to happen until finally they've got four really, really, really angry people watching CBS uh, Col Colbert show at nighttime. And then the rest of the country will do what you have just done, which is basically say, OK, so so congratulations, Steve. You're a, you're a late night talk show host. He's president of the United States. That's and that's how I take it. I let it wash off my shoulders because I know I'm winning the battle. And, and, and I know that our side is winning the battle. The election of Donald Trump was proof that we're winning the battle. And so when you see him go out there, you can see his disdain and contempt. And it's, it is strictly being a sore loser. I promise you that's what this is all about. It has nothing to do with Donald Trump. It has to do with him being a sore loser that Hillary Clinton uh, didn't win this election.